Hello and welcome to Let's Play Resident Evil Zero. All right, so oh, Resident Evil Zero. Uh, we got to start somewhere because I mean, I want to go through uh, zero, one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven. Yeah, you know, in chronological order. And like I said, we got to start somewhere. And zero is not exactly everyone's favorite, but I mean, it, it's an okay game. I mean, it, it should be fun. Alright, so the way we're going to play it this time is, well, we're going to start in hard because I'm stupid like that. <laughs> and, and, and I have beaten this game on hard before. I mean, it, it, it's not that difficult, but there are, it has its freaking moments where, yeah, it, it's just Resident stupid. Evil Zero. Well, let's do this. Come on. Uh, Alright, so... We can go widescreen, uh, control type original, of course, and subtitles on. All right. A Midwestern town in America, Raccoon City, a solitary island far off in the sea, Rockfort Island, an island that would become the second Raccoon City, Sheena Island. Oof. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise Umbrella was somehow involved, little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? And how was the T-Virus created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. And that's all you're gonna learn from this game. This is a cool sequence though, I like this. Hmm. Do you think so too? Yeah. Do about it. Okay. as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. What's going on? Engine failure. Emergency landing. Check the current position and investigate the surrounding area. Captain, look! <gasps> Captain! Hmm? What happened? Order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cohen, ex lieutenant, 26 years old. Court martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoner is to be transferred to the Regathon base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs, and that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone, let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up.
Okay, the door to safety is shut and there is no turning back. I mean, we could just walk out of this stupid train. I mean, we, we can, but we haven't finished searching the train yet. All right, so um, we're here to investigate, uh, you know, many um, murders that have been reported. And we also just learned that there is an escaped convict <laughs> running around the forest. So Rebecca decides to go alone to investigate the train. Alone. Rebecca, what the? <sighs> Come on. Like... Bravo team, what is wrong with you guys? Come on. Alright, well, we are playing as Rebecca Chambers. I do believe that they've already said her name in the intro. Rebecca Chambers, she is a young girl. I think she, I believe she's 18. Yeah, and uh, she's the medic of the team. That's all we really need to know about her. And she has this. This is her own personal item. Um, as you see over there, it says partner. We will be getting another person to play with us. Uh, well, more specifically, we will we'll be able to play as two people. And, you know, that person will join us uh, in a little bit. So each um, character has their own personal item. Uh, Rebecca has this like a uh, mixing set, which is it says it's used to mix and prepare medicines or chemicals to be more exact. I mean, there you can make a medicine out of this, but it's only like one type of medicine. It's to cure poison, and that's later on. Otherwise, this thing is just used to for puzzles. It's just, yeah, not that fun to use. And we have a handgun, M92FS. It says standard equipment for STARS officers and it uses 9 millimeters. Alright, and we also have 30 rounds. Cool. And with that, let's look at our map. And yeah, it's just this room because we don't have, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, we don't have the map yet. What is it called? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. And uh, if you press X here, it says item list. Uh, you could actually see, unlike in, yeah, in other Resident Evil games before Zero, you usually had to um, go to an item chest or item box to put away any items that you need to make room for, or to make room for your inventory is what I meant. However, in this game, there are no item boxes, so what do you do? You just drop it. As you see, I dropped it. Now it's there on the floor. Now if I go to my map, check the item list, there it is. It shows you where exactly, where exactly you left your item. It's pretty cool. I believe they did this because um, many people at this point started complaining that uh, item boxes were tedious so they're like yeah well we'll just have the characters drop them wherever they want to of course there's a limited amount of items you could drop in one room but I don't know was it better off having item boxes or not I don't know anyways we go over here to this restaurant car it will say it's locked Dining car, but restaurant. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's locked. We can't get in. And as you saw, the text is highlighted green when it says dining car, which means, yeah, we need a key. Dining car key, specifically. So, can't go there exactly yet, so we go over here. Also, there's no way to skip these transitions, even though the game is able to load right away. This is Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo Team. Please identify yourself. Is someone there? The government has announced that she has been out of the What's he listening to? Heard something about the government or whatever. Uh oh. Ugh. All right, so turn around real quick and <laughs> shoot this guy three times, or two times. Uh, sometimes it takes three, but as you saw, he just died in two shots. 
Uh, zombies this early on are pretty weak. Um, you'll find out later that they do get tougher, like really, really stupidly tough. But for right now, they're pretty weak. Yeah, as I was saying before, um, I was going to talk about the zombies, but I think, okay, well, the zombies, first off, they're a staple of the Resident Evil series, in case you haven't played the Resident Evil games, yeah, they're, they're pretty much almost in every, 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 every game, oh, man, I'm getting tongue twisted, damn it. Almost every game. Not in every game, though. Okay, and I was talking about these transition sequences where they show the door opening. Uh, I'm, I'm playing the remastered version, which is on the PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, this game originally came up for GameCube in 2002. And even then, they could have loaded the next area without these transition sequences. The reason why they keep it in, because it's just so memorable... I guess, and it's it's just become a tradition to keep it. It's really weird because they don't let you skip it because you you totally you don't need those transition sequences. Like I'm pressing the the start button, every other button on the the damn controller, and you can't skip it. Yet it's been proven that. Yeah, the, the game can automatically load the next area. They used these things in the first game because they had to mask the load times. <laughs> you know, which was back in 1996. So yeah, it was understandable. But, but nowadays, no. Like, we don't need it. How long will the rain last? Well, it doesn't really last that long. I mean, just kind of rains all throughout your duration on the train. Must have been attacked in his sleep. His body is covered in slime. Ugh. All right. Well, there's a note here, and we're gonna read the file. It's a passenger's diary. So July 14th, orders came from the boss today. Looks like we're in charge of investigating the remains of the Arkley Mountain Laboratories. We're moving in two groups. The initial group is assigned to start checking what's left of the abandoned experiment. All right. July 16th. Unfortunately, the test product. The test production of BOW, which stands for Bioorganic Weapon, type Y139 had to be suspended because of this investigation. It's the same with type Y139. There's still so much we don't know about responses to the crustacean T virus. There's a lot of interesting research left. Depending on the species and nurturing conditions, only minute doses of T bring about remarkable changes in solidity, size, and multi multiplication of enteral <laughs> toxins uh, and brain development. If these effects can be controlled, a powerful weapon could be produced. But the sudden development of the shell results in a corresponding fragility. Certain areas become exceedingly weak. Problematically, one of these areas is the head carapace. This lab we are going to, well, where they're pursuing the same research. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I would certainly help. It would certainly help to find data sam and samples that would help us in our research. July nineteenth. The day is finally approaching, and I'm growing more anxious. The Raccoon City newspapers and TV stations are full of reports about the bizarre murders in the suburbs. It can't be the virus, can it? No. You know, I think of that now. Oh, he's saying no. I can't think of that now. Okay. I have to concentrate on this investigation and make sure it goes smoothly. Alright, so, um, that file kind of just giving us a heads up on something to come later. So, let's keep that in mind. I was talking about how they were experimenting on the Y139, whatever. Yeah, that's, uh, might encounter that later, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so we go into this room. It's another passenger room, but it's actually also a save room. Uh, the way you save in Resident Evil games, of course, is by using typewriters. There's a typewriter. If you have an ink ribbon, you can save your data. So, there's always usually an ink ribbon right by a sa uh, typewriter. Save point, whatever. Usually they come in threes. In some games, there's they come in twos, so yeah. 
it will allow you to record your progress yes and you do have a limited amount but they, they give you a plenty i mean if if you're a save nut then yeah you're probably run out real fast but if you're like me then you know when to save and when not to yeah so as of right now we're just gonna drop it we'll save in a few all right and over here we're gonna find a green herb we don't need to take it right now but that is used to heal your character and i'll talk about those more later all right so here's another file and we're gonna read that too investigation orders it's stained with blood some sections are illegible eight miles north of raccoon city in the arkley mountains lies our company's management training facility it was shut down years ago so yeah obviously some words are pretty you know obvious what they spell out now we are conducting uh pre primarily to study yeah like <laughs> into the reopening of the facilities primarily what the fuck <laughs> all right first investigation unit is already on site and opening the investigation I want your team to provide support. The following orders are Will M. Bark and first, uh, yeah, yeah. The rest is torn and unreadable. <laughs> There's actually a pretty important name in there, but well, yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna give out any spoilers. So just in case there's anybody watching this that's new. You know, never play Resident Evil games, and we and we're just gonna say right now, if you are, go play this game. Like, what, what, what are you doing watching this? <laughs> go play it. Go play all of the games, man. They're all great. Okay, maybe not all of them, but <laughs> yeah, they're all got their ups and downs, but majority of the time they're good games. Okay, we can't get in here, and it's the conductor's office. All right, we got to keep that in mind. Over here is. A card reader. We can only open it with the right card, alright. That means we can't get through here. Yeah. And there's a corpse over here, and we'll check his body. He actually has something in his hands. The training employee's corpse has been brutally torn apart. Ugh. He's holding something. And it's a train key. Yeah, it doesn't say what it is, because... We need to examine it first, check it out, see what key see what door the key goes to and who the hell are you I know exactly who he is guys Billy Lieutenant Cohen ah so you seem to know me been fantasizing about me have you <laughs> you're the prisoner that was being transferred for execution you were with those soldiers outside oh I see you're with stars. Well, no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around. So, I'm afraid our little chat time is over. Wait! You're under arrest! No thanks, dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. I could shoot, you know. Right? What happened? Worse than we can't. You must be careful, Rebecca. The, the forest is full of z zombies and monsters. Zombies and monsters. Uh. Doggy! Yeah, these are not nice dogs, by the way. So, these are zombified dogs. And they do have a name, but we'll, we'll see their name when we get to that game. Which is going to be the next game I'll probably record. Alright, so, just shoot these guys. Where is he? Damn you. God. Freaking guy. <laughs> he dies right on top of, right in between <laughs> Edward's legs. All right. Fantastic. Edward, you were so happy just a few hours ago. You were so happy. What? He's holding something. Yeah, he, this guy holds like nine millimeters. 
Body has bite marks all over it. Yeah. Edward didn't do so well. Now he's dead. All right, so let's check that train key out. Ah, dining car. So, all right, so now we got to go back to the dining car. Oh, okay, I pressed the wrong button. The freaking square button is the inventory button. All right, so there still should be some zombies in here. I think one might get up from its seat, but who knows? Oh no, come on, man. Oh my god, I'm already, oh my god. I forgot I was doing this on hard mode. That is not good. Uh, I did not talk about the health in this game. Uh, you go from fine caution, orange caution to danger. Yeah. This is Rebecca, over. Enrico, hello, can you read me? Please respond. Rebecca, I can hear you. Now listen up. We've obtained detailed information on the fugitive from a document found in the wrecked wagon. Billy Cullen killed as many as 23 people. Over. 23 people. <laughs> Massacre. He wouldn't think twice before killing you, but we just met him. He didn't kill us. All right. Uh, yeah, right now I'm on orange caution. There is uh, fine, which is green. There's caution, which is, um, which means you're hurt and it, you know, ah, damn it. Okay. I'm having trouble explaining. Uh, there's green, which means you're fine. And then there's caution yellow and then there's orange caution right now which is what i'm on and then there's danger which is red so i am not exactly dying yet but i am very close to dying i think that was that stupid dog that bit me and then on top of that that zombie that bit me uh, oh yeah and that guy follows you in here it's like the only zombie in the game that really just follows you Oh yeah, and we can also discard the keys since we don't need it no more. Uh, there's no reason to keep them at all. There's never any time in any of all these games where you need to keep a key that you've already used or that's outlived its usefulness. Just always discard it. There's no need to keep it. It's going to be dangerous from here on in. Why don't we cooperate? Cooperate with you? Listen, little girl, if you haven't noticed, there's some pretty freaked out things on this train. And I, for one, want to get out of here. I don't think we stand a chance doing it alone. You expect me to trust you, a wanted felon? I don't need your help. I can handle this on my own. And don't call me little girl. <laughs> All right, Miss Do-It-Yourself. What should I call you? The name is Rebecca Chambers, but that's Officer Chambers to you. Well then, Rebecca, why don't you go and try while I wait here? <laughs> All right, so he just blocks the door like a freaking butthole, so we can't get out of here. Well then, Rebecca, why yeah, don't you go and he just says the same thing. Well then. <laughs> All right, so yeah, there's only really one way to go. We can't go through here. Yeah, the automatic door, it's, but there's no power to it, so we can't go through there. And if we go right here, we'll find a note. It's a notice to the supervisors when closing the dining car. Supervisors are asked to switch off the automatic doors after ensuring all staff have vacated the car. The main automatic door power switch is located on the roof of the fifth car. Why is it there? Inspections will take place when the train is garaged. After inspections are complete, use the ladder at the rear of the second floor of the dining car. Okay. Umbrella Corp, maintenance department. So yeah, they're saying there's a ladder at the end of the second, at the end of the last train. 
on the second floor. This is the second floor, so let's go get to it. Excuse me, sir. Sir. <laughs> oh. All right, so we're going to book it. <laughs> Run away. You, you don't have to fight him. It's, especially at my health, I'm not gonna fight this freaking guy. If only you could do that in game. You have to wait till Resident Evil 6 to do that. Not that I was complaining or anything. <laughs> this dude is singing. Who is that guy? What's going on? Who's controlling the train? Go and check out the first engine car. Listen, we've got to cooperate with each other from now on. You got that? Well, I don't... Clue in, girl. Or maybe you like being worm bait. <laughs> okay. All right. But you just remember, I will shoot you if you try anything funny. Fine. Now take these with you. Oh, nice. If you find anything, give me a call, all right? All right, so now we got another partner, which is Billy. And he's going to tell us about, yeah, player manual too, telling you how to control each character. Uh, but we don't need that because I already know how to control them. <laughs> All right, so the right stick here um, on whatever controller you're using this on, I don't know, you could be using a keyboard. Uh, but yeah, the right stick helps you control the other player. It, it, it takes some time to get used to, but honestly, I really don't use it too much because there's no reason to, but yeah. You can also switch characters uh, in here in the menu screen by pressing triangle, or in my case, it's triangle. I don't know. It might be a Y if you're playing on Xbox, or you could do it this way. I'll go check over there. Okay. Come on. Okay. Okay, I forgot <laughs> what button it was. You stay here. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. She forgot what button it was. Oh, okay, it's still triangle. All right, yeah. You can switch characters on the fly like that instead of having one in the menu. Just do that. And you could tell them to stay and follow. I'll go. Okay. By pressing Select or start whatever. I don't know. It depends what you're playing. Are you playing on GameCube? It's the start button. It's I guess um, If it's the Xbox it's start too as well If it's PS4 then it's the touchpad All right, so we're gonna go over here. Actually, we want to leave uh, Hold on actually we want to give all that ammo that Billy just gave us back to him because I do not want to go into this next part with Rebecca. It's not a very smart decision. Also, with the way her health is right now, no, just no. All right, so 90 rounds, give it all to him. And continue on, trust me, we're, we're not even gonna use these four bullets in her hanga. All right. 
So I tell Billy to stay back here and we're going to go ahead and use the ladder. It's going to go up to the roof. Let's go. All right, so as you see now, the train is moving, or as you saw in the cutscene, but yeah. And we're going pretty freaking fast. I don't know how she doesn't just get blown off this damn thing. Or lose her balance. So yeah, if you remember that final set that there's um, the power switches on top of the train car for some reason. And we're going to need to reconnect it because it's just broken. It's torn. It's disconnected, yeah. So we reconnect it. There you go, we got power. <laughs> Alright, so now we're here in this like little kitchen area or whatever. But we're also stuck in here. Because <laughs> there's something in the keyhole of this door and we can't turn the knob. Get it off if you had something sharp. And in this case, we don't. So yeah, for now, we're going to be stuck in here. And that's going to be the end of this episode. So see you guys in the next episode where we attempt to get Rebecca out of this stupid kitchen. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next time.